our next story we're talking about Maureen the actress, TikTok sensation. Very talented, very funny individual. If you watch her comedy skits um, on social media, you can agree. This girl is mad talented. And her baby daddy or her ex uh, comedian More. Now, it is, it, it's just the regular story, the regular of boy meets girl. They are happy, they are in love. They said they actually met in a professional setting. Uh, he was actually producing for the Chipukizi show. Y'all remember it used to be here and he was a producer there. And uh, apparently Maureen did a sketch and used one of his lines in her sketch. And was like, hey, that's my line. That's my thing. Why are you stealing? And she was like, no. This is original. It came from my heart. I don't know what you're talking about. And he says he was so intrigued by that, he actually kind of liked her. You know, mm. you, you you liked the deception from the get-go. I don't know why you're surprised, bro. <laughs> anyway, fast forward. They're in love. They get together. They have a child. But COVID comes in. And I feel like COVID really brought out the best and the worst in people. COVID and quarantine for me gave me my weight, okay? I was not like this before the pandemic. I was a skinny girl. And for them, it actually highlighted how incompatible they were. First of all, the loss of jobs. He says, you know, they're both creatives. They both couldn't work the, during the pandemic. So the financial constraints uh, coupled with now we're getting to know each other and you're like, hey, kumuna kuanga ivi. And the emotional turmoil of, of it all, they kind of separated. And Maureen moved out with her baby. Okay. And while he was upset about it, he said, okay, can I talk to the baby? Can, can we work out a schedule on where I can be seeing my child, how we can co-parent? To which Maureen replied, hey, listen, right now this kid is very young. She does not know what is what. How about, let me just raise her and you get to meet her when she's a bit older and able to understand what it is. Which is an unfair move to be honest because you can't say I won't see my child because she's too young to remember. That makes absolutely no sense. And I do understand her reservation of, I don't want my child to be doing this back and forth. It is too much emotional turmoil. Let me just cocoon her for a fourth minute. And then when she's a bit older, we can introduce you as the father. However, remain paying child support. And Mori was like, absolutely no. So for one month, he declined to pay uh, the child support, or rather the amount that he used to send for upkeep, hoping that Maureen would change her mind. And if he agrees. He did it because he was hoping that she would change her mind, she would talk to him, but nothing happened. So when he changed his mind and sent the money, baby girl sent him back his money. And she said, you abandoned us. Leave us alone. And since then, blocked him across all platforms. That was thunder. That was scary. <laughs> blocked him everywhere, cut off access to his child. And he has just been on social media doing the same rant of, I just want to see my kid. I know I was wrong. I know I shouldn't have, you know, tried to manipulate you in that way, but I am sorry. So that has been his story on the internet. Maureen, on the other hand, has been Beyonce no remarks she has not commented in fact she is enjoying a very wonderful vacation with steve steve the masseuse steve the one who doesn't who does not like children they have been booed up they have been looking cutesy on the internet and her baby daddy even had a sentiment about the situation and he was like of course i will always want to protect my child because why would you have an environment with somebody who does not like children and i'm just like sir you left them okay you tried to dangle <coughs> your coins to man manipulate this girl and she was like i'm i'm done i'm done but anyway, she stood on business mm. because this girl has never looked back she has never done a back and forth with him on the internet nothing she stays silent and he has been on interviews talking about this story while it may be unfair because this is your child at least let him have access let him see his child from time to time it may be unfair on that part but i also see maureen side you know you showed me you could do this you showed me you can dip you showed me you can be inconsistent so me i'm going to guard my child you do it akitan 18 <laughs> It is unfair, but I feel like Maureen is just protecting her interests. I, I, I think every time I hear these stories, every time I see these stories, I, I am reminded yet again. Mm -hmm. Please, as you're having children with people, please, as you're choosing the life partners, please, 
can it be a tolerable situation? Like you think back, like think backwards. If we broke up with this person, would I still be able to tolerate them? If worst scenario happens, would I still be able to stand this person? Because unfortunately, life is such that yes, you may be in a marriage, in a marriage, in a long-term relationship, and y'all are good, and then suddenly something happens and you can't stand each other, and now you have a child together. Like mm -hmm. now, you're baby daddy, baby mama. Like no one ever. Well. For the most part, not every single baby mama, baby daddy situation is brought or sprung from them not being together. Some of them is just a simple situation of just like them. They thought they were like, they thought they liked each other. They really were interested in being together. But then ultimately at some point they're like, oh, I really know. Please mm. get, get me out of this. Sign me out. And that essentially is a huge, 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 huge thing. Before you decide to have a child with someone, ooh, Child, before you decide to lie with somebody with the potential of having children, please think think through. Think through the fact that I may not be able to stand this person. I may see them and want to spit on them, but they should still have access to their child. Always think along those lines and then work backwards. Because honestly, not everyone wishes to have uh, a separation or not everyone wishes to co-parent or live independently and all that. It's just very tricky situation, but ultimately I hope and pray that they find some semblance of resolve. Because honestly... He still needs to see his child. Like, it's very unfair for you to start introducing your child to their dad. Like, they didn't want to be there. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. He's intent on being in her life, in their child's life, sorry. And for that or reason... So uh, well, yeah. and for that reason, he should be given access. I'll t imagine your child going, like, who is my daddy? And you're like, yeah, your daddy is XYZ. Can I meet them? And in, now it's a situation where your child is the one prompting this. It feels very unfair for a person who supposedly wants to be part of their life. It's very unfair for you to be able to put them in that situation so please in all kindness in all humility we ask you to give him access if he shenan's again then that's different but he's shenan once he's clearly paid his uh, um his very expensive price let him uh, allow him grace to see his child again now 